Wow, you clicked on this video. Thank you so much for clicking this video. I appreciate you. My name is Femi Adebile. They call me Fenjus Baba. I am a filmmaker, a content creator. I'm an actor too. This is my YouTube channel. Please do well to subscribe to this YouTube channel and click on the bell to get notified when we drop our goodies and our movies on this channel. I celebrate you. Oh. <laughs>your countenance is not appealing what's the matter well if there's anything that I've done to offend you I beg you please forgive me huh is that what you have to say I hope I've not made a mistake mistake how do you how do you mean mistake what is today's date today's date what what is it? Oh my god. So you've forgotten my birthday. Ah, 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 ah. Your birthday, yes. I forgot. Is this the husband I want to spend the rest of my life with? That cannot even remember my It escaped my mind. Please don't take it personal, please. Just don't take it personal. It escaped my mind, please. It's your birthday today. I'm so sorry. Don't take it personal. Eh? Sister Will, don't take it personal. Don't take it personal. It has not gotten to that. Don't, don't take it personal. Sister, don't take this thing personal. I'm very sorry. Don't take it personal now. You're only trying to take this thing personal. You know, I forgot. And I'm very sorry. I'm very, very sorry. Sister Samuel, you're sorry, John said. That means you don't have me in mind. Ah! This is so unfair. I have you in mind. I have you on mind. You are in my mind. You are there every time. I am very sorry. I promise. I promise that uh, it will not happen again. I mean it. It won't happen again. <laughs> Happy birthday. Uh. Sister Moyo, what's happening here? What are you doing there? What are you trying to do? Hey, what is it? What is it? Am I not pretty enough as a woman? Hmm. Huh? Let me tell you something. Today is my birthday and you're going to live with me. Hmm? You have no choice. <laughs> Sister Moyo, let's do that. That one is not good. The Bible says, the Bible says that marriage is honorable before all men. With the bed, the bed undefied. Sister Moyo, ah, let us not do this. I know you are stubborn. Billy Alekbe, you are going to sleep with me today. <laughs> Sister Moyo, so in Johnson. You have a very nice name. Your pronunciation is very nice. Oh, stop it! I rebuke that foul spirit of putting your life in Jesus' name.
was what prompted me to fast and pray. When I discovered that Sister Moyo is a snake. I tried to explain to the pastor, but he would not listen. I explained to my parents, but they refused bluntly. My friends did not believe me. Sister Moyo also told a brilliant lie against me. And that was why I gathered everything she bought for me and burnt them. This was what my friends saw and they thought I had gone insane. Was it the pastor that ordered them to bring you here? No, sir. The pastor ordered my friends to take me to Alabafi, where my parents are based in the village. But my friends thought it wise in their whole wisdom not to take me to the village with my present condition. So they decided to bring me here. That's too serious. Oh, but well, the Bible says in all things we should give thanks. And uh, God saved you. If you had slept with that lady, it won't have been easy for you to escape from her snare. And that is why we normally tell all those youths that it's not good to have premarital sex. It is very, very dangerous. Sir, I need your assistance. The wedding is to hold in two weeks. And the pastor has decided that I must marry Sister Moyo by force. And, sir, I, I can't marry Sister Moyo because there is death in the pot. My brother, don't worry. Huh? Don't worry at all. And the law in this nation, it is not possible for somebody to forcefully join a couple together. And Bible also is against it. So put your mind at rest, okay? Chief, Chief. Pastor, what happened now? Nothing. I don't understand. I go to the land. Another person has occupied it. Which land? No, my land now. You didn't pay for any land. Ah, Chief, don't say like that. Ah. Uh -uh. You gave me an instruction to drop the level no, for I you. No, I paid. I, I did not. I dropped the block for you. You didn't pay me any money. Is it by force you must build us without how? Without money? Go what? and go and sleep in the church now. No. You know, Pastor. Chief, wait, wait. I promise to pay the balance next month. And then you now stay in the house next year. Thank you. Ah, Chief. Chief, it's unfair now. It's unfair. What do you not want me to do? Chief, it's unfair. Honestly. Why is it that it is now that you need us most? You ask them to take him to his parents in the village. Why? It's bad. Too bad. My dear, I don't understand what you are talking about. I don't understand. What is bad in the way I have handled this matter? What is bad in it? I mean, you just imagine the kind of lie that came out from Brogbile's mouth. All because he has seen a lady outside that he wants to get married to. Ah, uh -uh. in fact, I don't even know whether it's the judgment of God that's already raining upon him. That's why he's going through all this hardship. That's why I told, I told the, the, the brothers to take him to his, his, his parents in the village. After all, they should know what is wrong with him. <laughs> My dear, you need to plead for God's mercy and make amends where necessary. You didn't give this brother a chance to talk. You gave him no benefit of the doubt. And you know as well as I know, the genesis of the whole relationship. Daddy, mommy, am I not pretty enough as a lady? Men use and dump me. And they've been doing that since I was in the US. That's why my sister said I should come to Nigeria to end one of our companies here. To see if God would perform a miracle. But still, I'm still here, searching for a man to marry me. 
Please pray with me. It's been four years that I came back to this country. And I'm still single. I've been in this church for a while now. And I don't just know. But what is the essence of a woman that has so much money and does not have a husband? My sister, you see, you just have to take things easy and endure. There isn't any challenge or difficulty that prayer cannot solve. You understand my point? All we need to do is to pray and every dark cloud will be lifted. You understand? And I'm sure, I know, my God will give you your own husband. Take it easy. Sister Moyo, don't worry yourself at all. You are in the last bus stop. Huh? By the special grace of God, all the problems will be solved in this church. Amen. Amen. By the special grace of God. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. church. Ah, our offering alone some time is more than every other person put together. I don't know the problems with these our brothers. Why wouldn't they see this kind of sister? She's rich. She's beautiful. Which one can I really work on now? Yes. Brother Billy Alegbe. Billy has a vision and fears God. He does whatever I tell him to do. I will work on him to marry this sister. Even if it is... Uh... My dear, why are you asleep? I was just uh, ruminating over an issue. Mm -hmm. My dear, it's. Uh, I think that sister is the will of God for, for Brother Billy. Which sister? Why did you say that? Did probably tell you anything about her? No. I'm just uh, perceiving it in my spirit. Don't preempt him. You know he needs to pray and ascertain the will of God for his life before he takes the plunge. My dear, let's say brother Gwile. Ah, you two can remember what happened to him three years ago now. Since that time, he's just blocked his mind against sisters. He's not thinking about it at all. Just running about church activities every time. He needs to get married and settle down. Let's help him. All the same, my dear. Choosing a life partner is a very, very sensitive issue. And one needs to be very careful. Let's help him. Ah. Let's help him. For God's sake, who helped you to choose your own life partner? Didn't you pray and hear from God? How? Case close. Uh, I want to help his destiny. Can't you understand? 
his system is no longer interested in the relationship. Maybe they are not even meant for each other in the first instance. <laughs> you better let the sleeping dog lie and make you redress where necessary. <sighs> Above all, <laughs> you know I've been saying this. It seems there are some mysterious things about that your sister Moyo. And I know that the light of God shall reveal it soon. Planning such a societal wedding in your church, and we were not duly informed. In fact, Reverend, it's, it wasn't planned that way. It just happened. <laughs> it just happened. You need to forgive us. Oh, it's okay. that you, we are sorry about that. What can I offer you? Is still okay? No, don't bother. Oh, <laughs> what about you, mommy? No, okay. How did I Oh my God. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, thank God you're here. Yeah. Mommy, I want to seize this opportunity to have a brief discussion with you. I'm sorry. Uh, Please, no. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. It's all right. Okay. okay. <laughs> all right. God bless you. Uh, uh, Pastor, yes, how is the preparation going? Just in two weeks' time. And uh, I learned that uh, the intending couple are both from your church. I, actually, I was just about to go out to sort one or two things out about the wedding before you came in. Ah, <laughs> that's funny. Are you the one running around for the wedding plans? <laughs> Not so, you know. Reverend, actually, we have issues in our hand about the wedding right now. The brother came in the day before yesterday saying that uh, he had a strange dream about the wedding. And then uh, he's calling it a quit. I don't quite understand, Reverend. The wedding is remaining one and a half weeks. Can you imagine? What exactly do you want to do now? Uh, this, the time is running out. I don't, I... I don't, I don't really understand, Reverend. Uh, but I know, I know that God will take control. This wedding must come to pass. It will take place, Reverend. I believe it. Uh, didn't they pray very well before they start courtship? Oh, Reverend, I don't understand though. Honestly, I don't know what this brother has been waiting for. Now, the wedding is remaining one and a half weeks. He came in and said he had a strange dream. And the sister also said there was a day she went to visit the brother and she saw a picture in his house of one very beautiful girl. 
he turned the flip side of the picture and she saw my love there. And she brought the picture to us. And when we confronted the brother, he did not deny it. Like, what are you going to do now? The wedding program is fast approaching. Ah, well, I'm actually going out to look for the brother. Honestly, I don't know what his conditions are now. I want to go and plead with him. Abby? So he can forget about all this strange dream and pictures, you know, and let's focus on the plan of this wedding. Because all these things are the handiworks of the devil, you know? But I know, I know that the Lord will touch his heart. It's like you have special interest in this wedding. Ah, uh ah, -uh, man of God. Ah. Yeah, I mean, you're supposed to be patient enough hear that brother out, pray earnestly to God, and establish the truth. But instead of that, you want to forcefully join the two together. How will you feel if after the wedding, they don't have a settled home? Pastor Philly, look into my eyes and tell me you are not the one who match make the duo. You are forcefully joining people together in your church because of your fleshy desire. Simply because you want numerical increase in your church. Or better still, because of increase in tithe and offering. Why? You don't want to lose the brother, neither the sister. You know, thought within you that the best thing to do is to match make them. God have mercy on that brother and reveal to him what the sister is made of. Instead of you to be patient enough and pray to know the mind of God, you refuse to do that. You still want to go ahead and join a snake with human being in holy matrimony. Abba, pastor. Were you forced to marry your own wife? Uh -uh. In as much as they have not joined the intending couple together in an holy matrimony, they still have the right not to go ahead with the wedding. Now, tell me, why do you want to put that brother in a big problem? Hmm? I'm really sorry, Reverend. I am ready to make restitutions. Uh, I just want to plead with you. Don't leave me in this matter. I need your help. I seriously need your help. Because I, I don't just know what to do now. Thank God. First and foremost, send a text message to everybody that is involved that the wedding date is postponed. I will do just that, sir. But I think we need to go and look for the brother. Because honestly, I don't know the conditions that he is now. Don't worry about Brabile. His case is a settled case. Take us to Sister Moyo's house. Eh? Sister Moyo? Yes, Sister Moyo's house. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. of greeting. Welcome. Huh? Lady, who are you? You want to know my name? I am Moya Sare Johnson. And I am a good citizen of Nigeria. No. That was not my question. I said, who are you? I am not asking after your name. And you know it. What sort of stupid question are you asking? What sort of
lot of irrelevant questions are you throwing at me? In the book of Philippians chapter 2 verse 9 to 11 the Bible says the Lord has highly exalted Jesus Christ and given him a name above every other name that the mentioning of the name of Jesus Christ every nail must bow yes. and every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ is yes. Lord to the glory of God the Father so therefore I command every foul spirit in this mortal body bow in the mighty name of Jesus Christ Servant of the devil, that old serpent. Yes, yes. I am <laughs> Leviathan. Make sure you have intercourse 
peace will make him sin against his God. By this, he will be captured. Your Majesty, this will be a very difficult task. This man prays a lot. And the righteous one does not need those that serve him in truth and in spirit. I know. But do all you can. But if this is not successful, then we wait till your wedding day. On that day, you will now pour the spirit of lukewarmness on him. Which will make him totally weak to pray. That means... He has joined the league of those who drop their vision and ambition on the altar of marriage. Don't relent. Go quickly for this assignment. Everything you need will be supplied. But always listen to my counsel. Thank you very much, Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Though I missed my target, I will surely take revenge before leaving this place. Revenge? On who? Daddy, please, do something, oh. Jesus. My dear. Jesus. Jesus. Oh my God. Jesus. Was, was I the one, one that made this pastor to be covetous? He's down to covetous. Incorporated with me. And I took my money. He took my money. And now, that I could not get the blessing that I came for, I must be retaliated on him before I go. Retaliation, daddy! Sir, amongst all the men in this church, it is only Brock Bile the spirit of the Lord is leading me to. And you know, I can't go and meet him as a lady. Um, I would like you to help me look for ways for both of us to come together as husband and wife. But, Sister Moyo, I hope it's not because of that that you are giving me this check. No, not at all. Not at all. It's just a gift from me to you. Oh, I see. I see. I see. Ah, God bless you. Thank you. Uh, well, anyway, um, there's no problem about that. I will, I will call Brock Billy, as you have said. And I will talk to him. He's my son. You know, um, I know he won't uh, reject whatever I tell him to do. You understand? And apart from that, I will help him to pray. You understand? Uh, and as much as he has not even uh, gotten somebody to marry, I don't see that as any problem at all. That I can assure you by the special grace of God. I will take care of you. If you do this for me, I will... Uh, in fact, I will turn things around for you. I have money. If it is money, I have plenty of it. And what is the essence of a woman having so much money without a husband? Uh, what can I do for you? Um, I will change your car to a jeep. Ah, <laughs> yes, sir, I will. will. <laughs> I will spoil you with money. In fact, I will turn Brother Billy's life around. Let me assure you, it is done. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. <laughs> can you not see? Can, can you not see? see? In the blue! Oh, 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 oh. Chapter 1! Verse 3. That I love the fruit of anger. And mighty 
in power. He will not, yes, he will never accuse the wicked. The wicked must not go unpunished. Yes. And it is written, touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. It is not unto you, Leviathan, to judge the minister of God because their righteousness is of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Yes! Yes! Did you not read your Bible? That is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 10, verse 8. There he, that he kicks a bit, we fall into it. And he that breaks the edge, the serpents, will bind him. Philip of Matthias has broken the edge. I will surely bind him. Yes. And it is written in the book of Romans chapter 9 verse 15 Now that we have mercy on whom I will have mercy And compassion on whom I will have compassion I enter into the mercy seat of God And I command that mercy will prevail over judgment In the love of Pastor Philip In the mighty name of Jesus Christ God bless
of this family is in the boat of our lives and while he's in the boat we need not to fear understand eh? Jesus in the boat I can smile in the storm smile in the storm smile in the storm with Jesus in the boat, I can smile in the storm. While I'm sailing. 